Many hogs thought it could be a long year for Arkansas baseball coach Dave Van Horn. The argument, he lost five position players and 10 pitchers from last year's super, super regional team. But, oh, that hasn't been the case. Instead, Van Horn's young hogs have grown up in a hurry. Can it be a case of you're so young you don't know any better? Um, we do have a few older guys that know better, and I think that, I, I mean, it can be, um, but I think once you start winning and you win one-run games, you learn how to do it, you don't panic, but I just think we're getting better. The maturation of these Razorbacks begins on the hill. After saying goodbye to his entire starting rotation, Van Horn has inserted an almost all-freshman group which haven't acted their age. You know, this staff is something special. I believe our bullpen is uh, second to none. Our pitchers, are, our starters are definitely getting the job done. So I'm really proud of our guys, and we're, we're, we're playing well together. When we got into league play, I think the inexperience really jumped on us early. Um, we did. We, lose, we lost all three of our weekend starters from last year. I've never had that before. Usually I get my Sunday guy back. He becomes your Friday guy. So we, we had to mix and match and figure it out for a while what we were going to do. But we just, we just kind of, you know, just – kind of learned how to handle the team a little bit, and I think the players have learned how to win. So here in Fayetteville, the scoreboard has been on the hog side in this SEC season, and leave it to the head baseball coach here to use a football analogy to describe the Razorback success. It's baseball. It's it's not football. Usually the better team's going to push the other one around, and by the late in the third quarter, they're going to dominate you if they're just more physical. In baseball, there's a little more finesse, a little bit of luck involved. Um, a lot of confidence involved, and right now, you know, we've had some, it's kind of going our way. So these young hogs have outpitched their expectations, but how far can this team go? We've been talking about it since the beginning of the year. We're talking about Omaha, and uh, we've been thinking about it. We talk about it every day. Um, that's our goal, and that's the only, nothing less than it is going to be reached. So we, we feel like we can make it, and we're going we're gonna to keep on playing hard every day. You'd probably get the same answer out of every guy on this team. I mean, we're young, but we're probably the most talented team that, you know, uh, most athletic team that uh, this school has had in a long time. So if we continue to grow, you know, mentally for the most part, um, you know, we'll be able to, you know, we'll go to Omaha. It's up to us, and that's that's something we talk about daily. Uh, we, we may be playing Vanderbilt or LSU or Mississippi State, but, but we're really playing ourselves because the only team that can really beat us is, is ourselves. And, uh, I mean, we're, we look to get to Omaha and, and compete for a national championship. Young and restless Razorbacks who hope the stretch run could be a fun run in Fayetteville. Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.